Dr. Vicki has been a licensed chiropractor for over 20 years. She had little idea when she decided to become a doctor of chiropractic that she would become one of the most decorated, revered, and groundbreaking practitioners in the world. Since starting her practice in 1984, the pioneering Dr. Vicki, as she's known to her patients, has dedicated her personal and professional life to bringing health and hope to a group that previously released, received little attention from the chiropractic community, pregnant women. Before Dr. Arcady, pregnant women were considered too delicate and too risky to be managed by chiropractors, although now they're considered commonplace. Arcady broke a new ground with her first controversial and courageous studies and subsequent care. Arcady went on to co-author a book with the famed and beloved Dr. Lendon Smith, who is known to millions of households as the baby doctor. Dr. Vicky was also the first doctor in medical history to publish studies regarding the utilization of glycogen nutritionals with genetically damaged children and those with cerebral palsy. Dr. Arcady has been known as the doctor of last resort because to her no case is hopeless. Desperate women, mothers, and even doctors search her out for assistance and insight with their most hopeless cases. Her results in those situations were and are astonish astonishing. Today, Dr. Arcady's mission remains one of bringing health and hope to pregnant women, their young babies, through education and nutrition, the building blocks of health. She has earned a diploma degree in pregnancy and pediatrics, one of the highest certifications possible, and she continues to manage pregnant women and infants with genetic and other incurable diseases. Dr. Vicki, you know, my heart swells in hearing all that, and I'd like to welcome you to our call this morning. Thank you very much. That was quite an introduction. Thank you. Well, it's really good for people to really understand your background and have some insight into you. And I, and I thought we'd start this morning by just um, finding out a little bit more about how you came to discover Manatech and include that in your practice. I was in practice in my office. Uh, I had a practice, booing practice, actually. It was very busy with pregnant women and pediatrics and family, and I also had a second practice in uh, the birth center that is here in the Los Angeles area, so I, I'd go over there one or two days a week, and I'd be on call for babies, and, you know, when you're dealing with pregnant women and very sick babies and children and infants, you have to be very careful about what you give them as far as nutrition, and being a chiropractor, I don't do medicine or surgery, so, or drugs, so... My my uh, expertise really was nutrition, and I had really trained on that subject so that I could become proficient. And when you deal with pregnant women, you have to make sure that you what you give them is safe, it's non-toxic at any level, and uh, you know it won't spark a uh, discouraging result like a miscarriage or bleeding or anything like that. So. You know, I was in my niche. I was doing my thing. I was very, very busy and being called in in the middle of the night to help with labor and delivery and babies, babies that couldn't suck or something, and the pediatrician was coming over, and my midwife would call me, and she'd, she'd say, I'm sure you didn't want to sleep tonight, and I've got the coffee on. Get over here before the pediatrician gets here because we've got to, we've got to avoid this kid going into the hospital. So I would get over there, and I'd take care of the baby, but... You know, I was doing my thing. I was in my groove. And doctors tend to be in their own little groove. They they get in a place where they're comfortable. Things start to work. They have a, a program, and they, they keep moving. We keep putting one foot in front of the other and just keep moving, and we see results, and we're, we stay in a place. It's almost like a groove, you know, that we just keep going. And so uh, Jackie Baird, she's actually my business partner in Manitech, uh, but she at that time had been my office staff person and chiropractic assistant who I had hired to help me with my supplements. I had so many nutritional uh, brochures and letters and information and, and I had so many supplements that I was dealing with on a daily basis that I and stocking and ordering, you know, I had thousands and tens of thousands of dollars of food-based nutritional supplements that were safe for babies and pregnant women in my storeroom that I used. And I had to have someone come in three or four times a week to handle all this for me because it was just too much for me and for my office manager to do. And I, I appointed her to do it for me. So she reviewed all the literature. She took care of all that. And then the things that she, I left it up to her to point me in the direction of some of the things that she thought were important and different and new and exciting and on the edge. It was it was because of her being told by her neighbor, of all people. It wasn't even in the office. It was a neighbor down the street 
This was right, this, and I might add, this occurred right after the Northridge earthquake in 1994. I pretty much lost everything. I lost my office. We were barbecuing in the front yard. I didn't have electricity or water for two months. I was practicing out of my office manager's home, and the waiting room was her yard, her grassy uh, lawn. We had people sitting on towels in the yard. Uh, this went on for a month, and I couldn't even get office space because the buildings were destroyed. So we were we were practicing in my office manager's living room, just about less than two miles from our office. We were we were going well, but uh, Jackie was walking her children down the street, and she learned about the the gummy bears with the phytochemicals in them, which at that time were called phyto bears. And she kept persisting with her and saying, "You." He knew she was involved in nutrition in my office, and and he said, you know, you've got to you've got to check this out. And she says, you know what? I'm not interested. It's a multi-level marketing. I'm not interested. And then she she said to herself, you know what? Here we are. My husband lost his job. We're we're in an earthquake crisis here. And she said, maybe this is something that I can do from home. And you know, you only work so much, and then. Uh, and then the, the, the business carries on and you get residual income. You only have to work for a certain amount of time and then you earn the mo- you know, residual money from it. She thought, well, maybe I can do this part time. So, of course, she brings it to me. And I remember we were sitting in the car. I was driving and I don't know where we were going. She said, she, we were sitting there parked and she said, look at these. My friend Greg down the street, my neighbor, she says, he showed me these and she goes, look at these. I think there's something to these. Well, I was I was not exposed. This was in 1996, actually. Well, I had been exposed to phytochemicals very briefly, but I said, oh, these have phytochemicals. And long story short, I read the ingredients, and I threw the box in the back seat, and I said, this is garbage. I want nothing to do with this. And I think most of the people on this call can actually admit to someone that they did say no first of all. They, they said, no, I'm not interested. And that's truly what probably most doctors will say because, like I said earlier, we're in our groove, we're doing our thing, and doctors don't want to get exposed to something that they're not knowledgeable about. They become fearful that their patients are going to suffer the consequences if they take time out to learn something new. And in the, in the defense of all the practitioners out there, I know what it's like because I felt the same way. And she said, please, please, can you just check this out? I really think there's something here. And I looked and I read the label, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, pineapple. I said, there's no way that all this stuff is in here. And she goes, well, just try it, you know, let's see what, what happens. So I took it to work and I had a few kids that were very resistant to uh, improving after a flu, a terrible lung congestion type flu that was going around. And I believe it was from the the result of the earthquake and all the spores and everything that went around and were in the air. The children were inhaling them and we couldn't get rid of their runny noses and their coughs. So I had a few toddlers and I thought, "Hmm, let me try this on my most difficult patients and see if I can get a result because I had been using everything else in my arsenal and I just couldn't get them to go anywhere with it. So I gave a few boxes, one box to, you know, one of three mothers. And I said, you know, on the box it says give one twice a day. I said, you know, we're in L.A., so you can give them give them four a day. It's just, it's just food. It's not going to hurt them. And so a few days later, after I gave the, these mothers the box, they called me and they said, I don't know if it's these gummy bears you gave me, but... Johnny is so much better. He's not coughing. The runny nose disappeared after the first day, and I thought it was just a something that was going on. But she says, now it's three days later, and it's not happening. And I says, bring that kid in here, you know. <laughs> so, I, so I had him bring him in, and sure enough. So I called Jackie, and I said, hey, are there any adult products? Yeah. So I got the adult products, and I did the same thing. And finally... Uh, I was doing more research reading. In those days, we didn't even have email. We had third-party copies of copies of copies on phytochemicals, and we only had the first generation of the monosaccharide, which was from the aloe vera plant. And so I was reading all this information, and Jackie said, you know, there's, she says, my entire block is waiting for your approval on this stuff. 
could you please tell me what, what you think of this? And so six weeks passed, and she finally gave up, asked me, and I called her around 6 o'clock in the morning, one morning, and I said, I'm, but we have to do this. I said, this is stuff that goes in the, in the cell and not in the gut. Everything else we have in the storeroom goes into the, the gut and not in the cell. This is the only thing I've ever seen that works with the DNA. I said, I can give this to anybody. It's non-toxic. We've got to do this. And so she was like dazed and confused, and she goes, what are you talking about? You know, mind you, this was after the earthquake, and all of us were suffering financially and uh, had losses. And I said, I have a credit card here. Let's just get involved at the top level. I haven't used it in a while, and would you please be my partner because I I can't do this by myself right now. And I would, you know, you're, you've been my assistant for so many years. Let's just do this together and see if we can help some people. So that's how it started, and... We, as we started to use the product, and our first mission was to buy the top pack, the, the what we call the All-Star Pack. We bought the All-Star Pack, and our first mission was to uh, distribute the products to everyone we knew and loved. This did not go in the office. This went to our, our family members, our neighbors, and we, and we turned the money on the pack within two weeks from purchasing the pack. We got our money back, and we paid the card off. We were starting to look at this for the office, and I started to get some really, really, really sick patients, kids in the office, and I had some very difficult pregnant women that were very high risk that came my way, and I decided to start using these on both of these groups, and we got incredible results, and I reported these results back to corporate office in Dallas, and I said uh, to Dr. Rich, I have to tell you what's going on here. I had a pregnant woman who was morning sickness, and I, I gave her some glyconutrients and the uh, electrolyte drink, sport drinks. Things started happening. She didn't have it. It was like within the first sip, she started to get relief. And, and I had a kid with a nasal gastric tube that uh, was doing very well, and after a week he gained a pound where we, we couldn't get weight. The mother couldn't get weight on him at all. He was four years old, 16 pounds, and she ran in and said, you know, he, we, he gained a pound just on one capsule a day. And so I was faxing back and forth to Dr. Reg McDaniel, and finally corporate called me, and they said, we need you to come to Dallas. You have to show us what you're doing. So I went to Dallas, and I showed them we had x-ray films of patients with cancer, before and after, that Jackie's husband, he was a smoker and he had small cell carcinoma and the tumor disappeared and the doctors were all, you know, they couldn't believe what was going on here with a metastasis to the brain and and I had all my results from my kids and genetic disorders that were, uh, you know, reversing and then the expression of the gene was not happening, of the mutation, mutated gene wasn't happening and they were getting better, which was impossible. Uh, and cerebral palsy, we had a kid with cerebral palsy. So they encouraged me to write some case studies, which I did. And uh, we got them published in the Fisher Institute of Medical Research. And from that point, from getting those published, we now have about 55 gene-mediated conditions that are responding to glyconutrients, including Down syndrome, cystic fibrosis. I mean, these are serious uh, conditions and seeing favorable uh, quality of life and improved quality of life and less of the gene expression happening and it's truly been an incredible thing and you know we I just expected to, to utilize these products and add them to my patient's diet and I thought you know what this should help improve their overall health it should give them optimal health because that was you know I gave them the optimal health system I mean I kept it together I gave them the glyconutrients, phytosterols, and phytochemicals. Across the board, everyone got the same thing. It didn't matter what they had. They all got the same thing. And with the children, we started with the, the glyconutrients and the phytochemicals. That's all we started with, uh, depending on the age. If they were newborns, we just did the glyconutrients. If they were about two years old, we could add the phytochemicals. If they were eating, if they were uh, six months or older and they were eating food already, introduced food, then I would add the phytochemicals. But... This was something that I never expected. It was something corporate never expected, and it just blew us away because now, you know, 11 years later, we hear something every day, and it's just such a blessing. And after a year and a half in Manitech, I was able to retire because I could see that 
working in my office and the birth center one-on-one was not being productive enough for me. I felt that I could do more around the world and touch more people if I could just take advantage of the network marketing concept and just, you know, go through that venue and and help people that way. So uh, for me, I think it's been been the highlight of my life next to becoming a chiropractor and next to discovering that chiropractic care for the pregnant woman was going to change the lives of the mother and the baby. And this was the third thing on my list that literally changed my life uh, as far as my own reward in my lifetime. And this, this truly has been the avenue as a doctor. It has been my privilege to be, be able to help children all over the world. Look what, look what we're doing right now. I'm speaking to you guys across the world, on the other side of the world. I mean, this is so big. I've enjoyed it for 11 years, and I'm going to go keep going strong. And recently, I don't know if you know, but we became platinum ambassadors recently. And that is truly another blessing because now we're really ambassadors, and everyone is in our group. So it's it's even more fun. Yeah, it's quite that's quite a start, Dr. Vicki, you know, pretty incredible. So as a doctor, I can imagine you, along with the corporate doctors, were astounded with the results of nutrition in some of these quite difficult situations. Well, I can tell you, I remember clearly, we went to, we would go to the events, you know, in those days it was called the All-Star Events, uh, before Australia, and we, they had them in Dallas, and there were, you know, there might have been 100 or 200 people there at one time, or, you know, maybe a 1,000 or 2,000 it got up to, but I remember that after when we had our life experiences meeting, uh, I remember that Dr. Red McDaniel, Dr. Bill McAnally, and the doctors would sit up in front of the people and take testimonials and questions, and we would just, I mean, we would all just sit there and cry, and these doctors would sit up there, finally they would sit down in chairs, and we'd be there till till 2 in the morning, and they would sit there until 2 in the morning, taking our questions and our comments and learning about what's been happening in the world. Canada and and the United States. And when I used to go back to these events, I would take my before and after pictures and I would I had a book of all my kids that I uh had results with and I'd show the before and after and the lab work before and after and we would all just crowd around and, and look at these results and literally we'd go to events, Jackie and I, and we'd be walking down the street, there'd be a break for lunch and I can tell you one time we were walking to a restaurant to have lunch and this white van pulled up next to us along the curb and the door slides open and we look inside it when it was, it was the entire research and development team, medical research and development team, Dr. McAnally, Dr. McDaniel, uh, Eileen Denham, all these old timers, all, all of the, at that time, the Dr. Boyd, all these people who were medical research department, they were sitting in the van and they go, where are you, go, where are you girls going? And we go, oh, we just, we're going to lunch, we're on a lunch break. And they go, hop in, you're going with us. And we hop in the van. They, like, kidnapped us. And we go to a restaurant. They go, we're taking you to lunch. So we go to the restaurant, and they'd sit us down, like, nice at the round table. And we'd sit around, and they'd, they'd keep firing. What are you seeing now? Tell us what's going on out there. What, 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 tell us about your most recent cases. Tell us what's going on at your meetings. What are you hearing out there? What, what have you experienced? What, what, tell us what's going on. They were so excited. They just, they, they were thirsting for this knowledge and we would we would just tell them we'd just say you're not going to believe this but this happened you know this woman's nose was cut off and it grew back and I mean literally we had a woman her nose was cut off and it grew back so for people new to this information and new to this technology and this thing today you know basically the, this uh, research and development team found a need and developed a product but at that point in those early days that you're describing they had no concept of the exponential results that were going to be seen over the next decade and you know you were part of that groundbreaking team to see that simple nutrition was assisting the body in healing itself in a way previously unexpected or un, you know probably disbelieved well the message that we'd like to really get out emphasize on this call is that it, um those of you who are practitioners and those of you who are just, you know, new or, or looking at this to possibly give to your loved ones, 
Do please do your due diligence and learn everything you can learn about it. We have a wonderful array of information, and you can talk to the person who got you involved with this call and just get as much of the information as you can. And what I want to emphasize is this. If you do your homework, you will see, like I did, that you can give this to anybody. These nutrients are non-toxic at any level. These are foods that God put on the planet that we are no longer getting in our diet. These are foods that are emphasized in Harvard's biochemistry textbook. They're the molecules that are missing in our diet. We are all deficient in these, in these nutrients. When you, when you take care of the deficiency by supplying the need and giving the body what it's needing, you will see the body spontaneously heal itself. There's no magic here. This is not snake oil. This is not the magic pill. This is basics. This is what we have been intended to do from day one. We were to roam the forest, roam the land, pull from the, follow the bears in the forest, pull the roots out, eat from the saps on the trees, eat the bark, pull the seaweed out of the ocean. We were supposed to get these nutrients, and none of us today do this. We don't do it because we're urbanized. Most of us in society today are urbanized, and that's why it was written in 1996 in Harper's Biochemistry Textbook by Dr. Robert K. Murray, who I might add is on our Speakers Bureau. He sought Manitech out because he wrote the chapter on glycoproteins, and he found that we had the complex of the very thing that he found in science to be missing. So he takes it. He is now our, one of our supporters. Now, I mean, that right there is a huge concept. This is something that he saw that he, he knew and wrote about that was deficient. It's science. The medical doctors today that are graduating know that we need eight essential monosaccharides in our diet. They know they're missing. We only get two. So what we have in our hands is a complex of a powder that is really food. It's a food powder, and it's safe as can be. And this is why I was I felt secure and confident in pushing it down the tubes in the in the baby's nose. There are NG tubes and there are G tubes. There are nasal gastric tubes and there are gastrointestinal tubes because I knew that it was non-toxic. It's harmless. It, it can only help give the body the tools so that it can heal itself. So that's really the message I want to give to everybody, especially the practitioners out there. We've all been trained to give a dose of this, and, you know, you might take too much of that. This whole thing is different. This is food. So you take it till it's enough. That's the rule. So you start with what's on the label is what I do unless you have a serious illness like cancer or, or you know, someone is in a serious crisis, then you can start with more and start with what's on the label. And the reason why I do that is because certain people are more sensitive than others. And you might, they might get away with, because of their lifestyle, their heritage, their genetic makeup, they might be able to get away with what's on the label, like myself. I'm very sensitive and I, I do very well with minimal. But there are some people out there who don't and they would require more. So you need to take it till it's enough so you get a result. I'm wondering if you comment now on what nutrients are important for moms while pregnant or maybe even prior to conception. What's, what's your professional opinion on that? Well, having been working with these for 11 years and dealing with pregnant women, I still work closely with my midwife that I've worked with now for 25 years, and she is now using these nutrients very aggressively. In fact, we're hoping to have really good set of studies with pregnancy uh, that we can share with the world because we have been utilizing now these nutrients with thousands of women over the past 11 years. And my midwife really would rather not deal with uh, labor and delivery of any woman unless she's on these nutrients. They are so important to the welfare and the, the outcome of the mother as well as the baby that it's so important that we recommend that our ladies get on these nutrients minimum the last trimester of pregnancy. Now, I don't know if you know, but I have a, a website that I've devoted to pregnancy and pediatrics. It's a generic website. I talk a lot about glyconutritionals, but I also talk about everything else I know. Glyconutritionals, phytosterols, phytochemicals. Uh, it's called healthyanswersonline.com. 
healthyanswersonline.com. And it's a really great resource source for anybody out there to recommend this site to get a, a little overview about how important these nutrients are. And one of the first categories I talk about on my site is preconception. Preconception is probably the most important part of uh, becoming pregnant because what you want to do is you want to optimize your health at least minimum one year before you become pregnant, before conception. You want to optimize your health for both partners because you want to have the healthiest egg, the healthiest sperm that you can have to be united. And I might add in Harvard Biochemistry, without glyconutrients, the sperm cannot even find the egg because you do not have the cellular communication, and that's what these nutrients do. They promote cellular communication. It's on the first page of Chapter 56 in Harper's Biochemistry textbook. And I recommended throughout my entire career that parents that want to have children start a program at least a year in advance so they can optimize their health for, number one, for the optimizing the health of the sperm and the egg to be united to form the healthiest baby. And number two, you're, the mother is going to be carrying this baby for uh, 40 weeks. And we want her to be in optimal health prior to carrying the baby, prior to conception and implantation into the womb. And we want dad to be in optimal health as well. He needs to be in optimal health because he needs to be there for mom. And he needs to be there in, in the mindset that practicing health prior to conception so that everybody's on the same page and the baby gets off to the best start. Now, I will tell you that in pregnancy, if you get pregnant and you haven't started the nutrients and you are already pregnant, you must start them as soon as possible. This is going to optimize your pregnancy. This is going to help supply what's needed in your diet. You're deficient. Pregnant women are deficient in these nutrients. Now, I will tell you a physiological fact that is probably another incredible miracle that is from our, you know, what made the body heals the body. If you have a woman who is pregnant, the mother will go without to make these nutrients. She will be deprived of her energy. She will be deprived of her what she needs for her health to feed the baby. So you have cases like, uh, I think some of you out there might relate to this, people that, uh, women that have had uh, rheumatoid arthritis or scleroderma, things like this, and they get pregnant, and suddenly their symptoms are lessened when they're pregnant. Well, this is because there's a mechanism, kind of like a starvation mechanism that turns on in pregnant women that if, uh, to feed the baby because the baby is the priority. And uh, what happens is the mother will make these nutrients from, from the uh, secondary foods that she's taking in that don't have the nutrients. She will begin to make these nutrients from the food she takes in. But it, in some cases it takes 55 different steps to get from, from a beet sugar to one of the sugars. It might take 44 to 55 steps. And in each step, you're requiring energy and you're requiring something called ATP, which will deplete mom of her energy and her vitality. So a lot of times you see pregnant women who are exhausted throughout the entire pregnancy. And if they could just supplement with these nutrients, they would see a, tr a tremendous improvement in their pregnancy as well as their outcome. They will encourage uh, their immune system to work optimally. They will encourage their blood sugar levels to stay in a place where they need to, preventing gestational diabetes and these terrible things that are prevalent in pregnancy. And she's just going to feel better throughout, and she's just going to do better. And if mom does better, guess what? The baby's going to do better. And after, after birth, the recovery will be so much better. And we're hoping to have studies come out pretty quick on bleeding and how uh, the glyconutrients minimize the bleeding in uh, labor and delivery, which can be uh, the one, number one, number two, or number three cause of death 
in labor and delivery uh, depending on the year. So it's a very it's a priority to uh, prevent the bleeding in women uh, during labor and delivery. And if anyone has ever seen bleeding and, and labor and delivery, excessive bleeding, it looks like a waterfall, literally. It's frightening. The blood just comes out like a waterfall, like you're turning on a faucet. And the way they handle it medically is they give you a shot that's uh, probably one or two thousand dollars for the shot. It works, but you know why should we resort to an emergency mechanism when we can optimize the health all along the way and prevent it from happening from the get-go? And what about threatened miscarriage? Again, we want to utilize the optimal health system, which is the glyconutrients, phytosterols, and uh, the phytochemicals along with the antioxidants. See, that has the phytochemicals in there. But I would also recommend that you supplement with additional phytochemicals. And the the main supplement here would be uh, that, that I would increase would be the phytosterols because if you can trace back into the herbal books, you will see that the phytosterols have been utilized since the Egyptian times to prevent miscarriage in pregnancy. And we've used them over and over again. And in some, in some cases, we've had women on eight a day to prevent the miscarriage. And this phytosterol has also been used for, in the past, in the herbal books, it describes it being used for colic. It describes it being used as an antispasmodic in pregnancy. And it's really uh, the wonder, Dioscoria velosa, which is the final sterile, it is the wonder food that has been utilized since the addition times to prevent miscarriages. So just move, moving on from there, obviously many people are, are very careful what they take in in pregnancy and rightfully so, and they make these decisions. So much thought put behind it and care. It's safe, obviously, to take final sterile while pregnant. Absolutely. Okay, excellent. And even when someone's already pregnant. You know, this is, I, if I had to say what was the million dollar question, I think this would be the million dollar question, since so for 11 years now. Let's look at this realistically. Now, we know that the phytosterols, we know the mechanism there, that they will help your body balance its own hormones the way it needs to be balanced, correct? Correct. You take it in and the body does the work. That's correct. We do not influence it with artificial or synthetic drugs at all. The phytosterols are not hormones. They are pro-hormones. They are from plants, and you take it into the body, and the body does with it what it needs to do to balance your hormones effectively the way you need them balanced. Isn't that correct? That's correct. Okay, so think about this. Here you are. You're pregnant. So you're four weeks pregnant. Do you think that if you took these phytosterols, that your body would go back to a non-pregnant state? No. <laughs> I mean, let's look at this realistically. We are not giving the body credit. When you have a fetus, a fertilized egg which go, embryo, which goes into a fetus, in the womb, the brain is immediately notified at conception. The brain begins to start pushing the hormones to maintain the pregnancy. All the hormones begin to rise. Your progesterone, your estrogen, all the hormones are increasing. Your human chorionic gonadotrophin hormone, which is the hormone they test in your blood for pregnancy, these hormones immediately start to rise because we want to thicken that uterine lining. We want to keep the baby in the womb. So the brain is notified. You start taking phytosterols. What do you think will happen? That whole sequence of events will be optimized. You are going to put yourself in a more pregnant state. The best pregnant state you can be. So excellent. So any, you know, really careful moms and dads can rest assured that they're only supporting the health of their pregnancy and their their unborn child. And I wonder, Dr. Vicky, if you could comment on people experiencing, couples experience fertility problems. Unfortunately, this is one of the, you know, on, on my website I have a conference call that I do every week. And I, uh, and I archive the calls and, um, I have to say that infertility is probably one of the number one problems I'm getting from people is that they're having, experiencing infertility, you know, new couples that are married and want to have children and, uh, you know, it's getting so bad. I think a lot of this infertility that we're experiencing today 
is probably due, and this is a postulate, I'm not saying this is why, this is my opinion, but I think a lot of this, I think, is due, number one, to the uh, deficiency of glyconutrients. I think that's number one in primary because the fact is, scientific fact is, we are deficient. And if you're deficient, you have no cellular communication. Like I said, the sperm cannot even find the egg without the nutrients on the edge of the cell. So that, to me, would be a, a number one step is to supply the need in the body, especially the glyconutrients. Number two, today we have pressure from the environment. We have toxins in our environment. We, our water, our air, our foods. There's nothing safe really in our environment anymore. You know, we're being attacked constantly. We have chemicals that are in our environment that get into the very air we breathe, the water we drink every, on a daily basis all day long that we're exposed to. And these chemicals and these toxins can be a direct teratogen, which is a direct, can directly affect the sperm and the eggs. They can directly mutate the sperm and the eggs. So the only way that you're going you're gonna to try to minimize this is to protect your body. The only way I know to protect it is to, number one, get yourself on a healthy diet, practice good health in the way you eat. You must eat healthy. Number two, you've, you've got to get water that's healthy filtering it to be the best water you can have. And number three, do everything from taking your supplements with the optimal health system and minimizing your stress level. So many uh, couples today both have jobs and they're working very hard and very stressed. And I see a lot of women today that are in careers and they don't set aside enough time for themselves being in a high-pressure career to really relax and allow themselves to get pregnant. You have to make space for a baby. You have to make space for yourself to prepare for a baby. But more than that, besides that, the insults that we get from our environment I think are the most important thing. And the only way that I can see to minimize that and reduce it and take it to a, a place where you can actually Fight it and heal yourself is to get on the optimal health system, the glyconutrients, phytochemicals, and phytosterols. In my 11 years, now we're looking at my first half of my career, I did without glyconutrients. The second half, I've done with glyconutrients. There's no comparison with compared to without as far as maximizing your ability for uh, fertility. And then, you know, you've got to drink plenty of water. In men, the, the motility of the sperm depends on being hydrated. So the sport drink can, with the electrolytes and the glyconutrients and the medium tra chain triglycerides can be very beneficial for men. And also, both men and women need to be checked out for their part. They have to make sure their structure is in place. And then, you know, the triad of health is structure, nutritional, and emotional. And the emotional part is what I was talking about, the stress. If you can get all three parts of the triangle of health in perspective and healthy, you're going to be able to conceive. I hate this concept of old eggs. You know, when you're 42, you have old eggs. That's baloney. It's not possible. We've delivered 52-year-olds in our clinic. It's not true. We are born with X number of eggs. And it's not that the eggs are old, it's just that we begin to age and we begin to rest. If you maximize your health and you live a healthy life with antioxidants, your glyconutrients, your phytosterols, and you maximize your food and your water, you're gonna, your eggs are going to stay healthy. So uh, it's not an overnight thing. And the third thing I want to say is that get yourself with a, a practitioner that can help you maximize your program with your health, whether it be chiropractor or naturopath, acupuncturist or all of the above, and, and your medical doctor, your obstetrician, your midwife, whatever, and get, get a team together and make this, make this a serious try to conservatively begin to conceive. It can be done. You just have to do it and do it in a structural way. Excellent, excellent. And so you mentioned that the female aches and their health, and there is quite a belief system out there that they do decline in, in quality, and that's a hopeless situation. I wonder, 
It's my understanding that the eggs are formed at the fetus timing in, in the little girl's body. Is that accurate? Absolutely. And so does that mean that that DNA is set in place for the next generation of that fetus's children? Well, there is genetic influence, but I will tell you this, that what we've been seeing, and, you know, I have done studies with genetic conditions, and for a genetic condition to improve, and, and I've seen the results from other studies that were done, for example, with cystic fibrosis and Down syndrome, we've seen that these genetic conditions improve. How could that possibly be? Well, I will tell you that, number one, yes, the baby girl gets her all of her eggs in the womb. I think it's about 14 weeks, like you said, which is early on, that she will get her eggs. I don't know the exact number, but I'm, I'm, I think it's about 2 million eggs that we all get as women from the time we're fetuses in the womb. Now, there's a new science called epigenetics, and this is really the only way that I can tell you that we got results. This is the only reason that I can see that we got results with otherwise mutated genes that are Down syndrome and cystic fibrosis, how we got improvements. And what happens is with this new science of epigenetics, epi meaning around genetics, the genes, the genetic material, is that you have to maximize and improve the environment around the genetic material, around the cells. If you can improve the genetic environment around the cells, and now I go back to the triad of health again. I'm going to go back to the triad of health. You need to fix your structure, your nutritional, and your emotional. If you can fix and maximize the health of all three of these things, you're going to change the genetic expression of that mutation. So I have seen in my career that although you may have genetic tendencies, for example, I will tell you in my family, I have genetic tendencies on both sides for heart issues. My dad has heart issues. My mother died of heart issues. And I have the complete opposite. I did a, a DNA genetic test, and I have the complete opposite. I have a, a lesser risk of genetic chance. My genes are showing that I have a, a minimal threat for heart issues. Now, this wasn't the story 10 years ago because I was putting on cholesterol and all that stuff. Everything that I've done for 11 years now with taking these products Improving, well, I've always been a healthy person and lived a healthy life, but in the last 10, 11 years, I've taken these nutrients that go inside the cell and change the DNA, maximize the DNA and help, help to improve the health of the DNA and change the DNA. So I'm just saying to you that although you may have genetic mutations from the time you're a fetus, this is new science going on that is showing that what you do outside and with your lifestyle and with your nutrition and with your structure and with your emotional can all contribute to better genetic material, even though you have that gene in your makeup. And I will tell you this also that Dr. John Axford from the Royal Society of Medicine, who sits on our board at Manitech, who's the leading internal medicine doctor, one of the leading doctors in the world, he said that the future with glyconutritionals and glycosupplementation will be in the field of genetics. He said we will be seeing genetic field, genetic uh, conditions where we can utilize certain, not eight in the same concentration of the monosaccharides, but change the concentrations according to the genetic code. We can start to maximize therapeutically in the future the genetic makeup and try to repair the gene with the monosaccharides because they do they, the the DNA is made up of monosaccharides and ribosomes. Excellent. And Dr. Vicki, I have a whole other list of questions for postpartum and newborns and children and we've only covered covered pregnancy in this hour. My goodness, you're a wealth of knowledge. Uh, we're just gonna have to have you back. You know what? I would love to come back. As you can see this subject never ceases to uh, bring out the passion in me, and I, I have to tell you that I'm so, 
I, I, I don't know where I would be today, and I don't know that I could have ever helped so many pregnant women and children if I didn't have these nutrients. It is truly uh, something that is puts has put my mind at, at ease as a practitioner when I get a difficult case. And I urge all the practitioners out there to really take a look at this. It's showing in our numbers in, in Manitech because our leading group of associates coming on board are the healthcare practitioners because they're getting uh, exhausted with trying to do everything they can to help people and it's not working. And I believe the whole reason for it is because we're all deficient in these nutrients and once you supply the need, wonderful things happen. Excellent. And so just in completion this morning, Dr. Vicki, we're talking about quite incredible situations with previously very difficult conditions that are that can't be touched by Western medicine. So we're not talking about a miracle product here or, you know, a replacement for medical care. What we really the miracle really is the body when it uses this common sense nutrition to do what it knows how to do. Yeah. I will tell you I have always been a integrated practitioner. I've always teamed up, even though I'm a chiropractor, and I believe heavily in nutrition and the body, power of the body, I have always utilized the medical practitioners and teamed up with medical because, you know what, we want the best result for our patients. And if, if I have an accident, car accident, please don't rush me to a health food store. Rush me to the emergency room. You know, we need our medical people. I mean, I... I believe in antibiotics when they're needed. We have to we have to utilize and team up with the medical. It is the best marriage for the benefit of the patient. You know, in, in the beginning of time, people used to pass away in large numbers. The leading cause of death was pneumonia, and today, that's with it, with the use of antibiotics, we can remedy that. You know, we just a resistant case of pneumonia that's not responding, we give them antibiotics and, you know, the antibiotics help the body to defend itself and, and we get the body to heal itself that way. It's, it's the whole concept of total body health. I really am grateful to the medical doctors and I have utilized the medical information and we must many times we don't feel like we need to know the diagnosis, but we do need to know the diagnosis. We need to know what we're dealing with so that we can be I take an aggressive approach or a non-aggressive approach to our health care. And we can complement together. Exactly. So in final words, what would you like to share to people, whether they're new to this technology or seasoned veterans, how, how would you recommend these nutrients be used for people that they know, love, and care about? We want to be the messenger. We want to tell people about this. We really are the messenger, and the definition of angel is messenger. And we truly are angels. And to, to be exposed as a new person, to be exposed to this knowledge, you will come across someone who you know and love who has a health care problem, and you might want to consider uh, sharing this knowledge with them because this could be the very thing that could help that person get out of their health crisis or health care situation. So whether you're a veteran or a brand-new person, please spread the word, and I consider all of this uh, to be a gift, and I consider myself special in, in the higher power that I was able to be exposed to this. And you, you who are new have been exposed to it, and just think of it as, as yourself being privileged and special to have to know this knowledge. And I hope that you will consider taking it yourself because it will optimize your health. Even if you are health, considered healthy, or you consider yourself healthy, take it for preventative reasons. Prevent yourself from getting into a situation like I did with my heart. So, from my heart to you, on that note, I encourage all of you to utilize these nutrients, and I want to thank you for uh, listening today. Thank you very much, Dr. Vigil. Just open the call to allow people to say thank you to you. And if you